Hey guys, welcome back to <coughs> Applesauce Podcast. What's going on, everyone, and welcome to episode 10. That's episode 10, bro. Yes, it is. Of the Applesauce Podcast, the only gaming podcast where we say right off the bat, fuck the old, right? Fuck them. And fuck anyone who associates themselves with Gamergate. Fuck them. My name is Broadway Vic, and joining me as always is my brother, Manny, a.k.a. Mr. Lightman. What is going on, bro? Uh, not much. A lot of cooking. A lot, a lot of what? A lot of cooking. Cooking. All right, all right. Yes. What you been What you been cooking up? Over the last week? Yeah, you've been, like, made... you been cooking up like hot shit in the studio? What's up, bro? No, in the stove. In the st- okay, all right. Cool, cool, cool. It's like, over the past week, I've cooked up a storm. Mm-hmm. I've made pies. Mm-hmm. I've made cake. Mm-hmm. I've made uh, jerky chicken. Yeah. Uh, pulled pork chicken. Oh, pulled pork um, mm-hmm. sandwiches. Mm-hmm. I made a burrito wrapped Ooh, in cheese. All right, right, right. Hey, relax, all right? Relax. Let's, let's not get too crazy at it, right? This is a PG podcast. <laughs> all right? But yeah, it's, it's been a very busy cooking week. That's it? Okay, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I thought you were going to add something on that. No. So it's our, it's our very first double digit episode, bro. Who would have thought? Me. You? Yes. Okay, I yeah. I mean, I mean me this. too. I, I kind of guess that, that comes off as like a lack of... Confidence in yourself. <laughs> confidence in ourselves. Not in yourself. Well, I, yeah. I thought we was... I'm, I'm oh, waiting until we hit 100. Right, right, right. Let's, let's relax. Let's relax, okay? Okay. Jeez. Either way, it's super dope. Episode 10. You already know what it is. We're going to go over a little bit of news surrounding the gaming industry. We're also going to be talking about some games that we're playing and our opinions on them. Uh, but what do you think? You think we should just uh, jump into the news? I think that's what we should do. All right. So our first bit of news actually comes from the Wall Street Journal. Mm-hmm. Right, They're reporting that Nintendo will be shifting production of its hardware from China to Southeast Asia. Okay. And that people involved with the supply chain have said that production has begun on three models of the Switch. Which obviously, you know, we already know it's one of them is the base model, right? Yes. And the other two, you know, it's adding to the sort of smoke right to the rumor that we're going to be having a a switch pro and a switch light or a switch mini whatever they want to call it right so what what are you thinking uh i want to see how they look (laughs) you think we're gonna get some spicy new models this year hell no not this year no why i I mean unless this comes out with pokemon never know i doubt it though but they will have to like uh pokemon comes out in november right yeah. There would have to be like some kind of direct in September. I mean, hey, Nintendo's done crazier shit, you know? They have. But if anything, I expect it to come out with um, Heart, uh, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, actually. What what better time, right, than to drop a huge franchise like Animal Crossing with a brand new hardware, brand new looks. Who knows? Animal Crossing, limited edition, Switch Mini. In it. Yeah. It's going to sell a, a ton, bro. It's going to sell a ton. It is. But, um, yeah, like... I don't know. If it comes out with um, Pokemon, yeah, to me it sounds like a weird type of message. Why? It's because I don't know. See, the thing is, right? Um, Pokemon has come out with like their own uh, limited editions, mm-hmm. but this one hasn't been that that popular with people. What do you mean? Yeah, like well, this particular Pokemon has gotten bad reviews. Well, not reviews, but like the press release has been bad for Sword and Shield. Fans. Yeah, for Sword and Shield. So, I thought I thought I thought it was kind of positive. I mean, there's a couple of things that you know people have been complaining about, but overall, I think it's pretty positive. I don't know. It'd be weird to me. It's, uh, it just feels weird to me, huh? Yeah, you know, twenty what what twenty twenty? Yeah, new Switch hardware. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it would be better off if they just drop it with like an Animal Crossing, get that refreshed, you know, hardware line in there, kind of kick it into to more sales. Yeah, yeah. I see. I see where you're coming from, uh, but. Oh, I'm still more interested in seeing when the pro version comes out. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I, I want to see what's what's in it, bro. I wonder what what they've sort of tapped into. You know. No, definitely. But um, do you think it would come out with other console launches? They should launch it with The Witcher Three. <laughs> well, The Witcher Three <laughs> no. comes out this year, so. <laughs> no, but like, I mean, would it be launched with Breath of the Wild Two? That's yeah. I I could see that. 20 what but Breath of the Wild 2 is coming like at the earliest 2021 2022 bro right yeah so like at that point just give me the Nintendo Switch 2 (laughs) (laughs) it'll be interesting to see um, what happens there 
So if you watched Ubisoft's E3 conference, right, and even Nintendo's conference, right, one thing that Nintendo was lacking in their conference and their in their pr- presentations, right, was a support for the Nintendo Wii, right? Ubisoft came out with some fire, bro, because there's because they did say Just Dance 2020. Or is it 2019? 20, yeah, Just Dance 2020 is coming to the old reliable Nintendo Wii. I just, I just, I just wanted to kind of touch on touch on it a little bit, right? Okay. Because how crazy is it that in 20 <laughs> this year, bro, the Nintendo Wii is still getting another game, and Ubisoft has kind of, you know, embraced being the the last game on the Wii. So they did say that they're happy that they are the last game on the Wii. And they are happy about that as there are still a lot of fans wanting to play on the Nintendo Wii. Which honestly, bro, listen, play wherever you want to play. Just Dance is really, you don't need graphics for Just Dance, bro. No, you don't. You just need to get crazy. Aren't they just silhouettes too? Yeah. All right. So, I mean, listen, bro, I can't wait. I don't think this is the last game on the Nintendo Wii because God knows Just Dance 2021 is also going to be coming to the Nintendo Wii as well. That's true, but uh, I think it has much to do with like... The hospitals and school use, you know? Oh, yeah, right. Because yeah, yeah. I know hospitals have them for, like, uh, physical therapy. Mm-hmm. I've seen yeah, right. Just Dance, yeah. That, yeah, that would definitely be dope for for that. And also other countries, too, you know? Where oh, it's just, definitely. like, the Nintendo Wii's pretty much, like, the only thing they have access to. Why not, right? It reminds me of the old PS2 days. God, man, that <laughs> system went on forever, bro. It did. What was it, like, almost 10 years, right? I, I think so. Yeah, I think I, I'm pretty sure it beat out like, the PlayStation 3 at some point. What happened? I'm pretty sure it outsold like, the PlayStation 3 at some point. <laughs> it was like a month for the PS2 outsold it. Man. So Pokemon Sword and Shield has a lot going for it, at least in my opinion, right? Mm-hmm. Dynamax looks kind of interesting. You know, I've said before I'm not really into the whole uh, new gameplay mechanics like Z Evolutions and shit like that, right? You know, the Galar region looks great. And Nessa is the new dark skin queen for everyone. Yes. Right, and I and I specified dark skin, bro, mm-hmm. because there's a lot of bullshit going on Twitter. Okay, oh, man. people Oof. keep trying to line up her skin. Yes, and just cut cut the shit, bro. There's a ton of light skin people on on Pokemon already as it is. Leave Nessa alone. If I'm mispronouncing the name, I apologize. But guess what? We stand a dark skin, a dark skin queen. Yes. Okay. Oh, definitely. All right, so just start with the bullshit, guys. Great please. design. The, the eye, the blue eyes, the blue hair. Yeah, it's amazing. Great, great design. I like the floaties on the shoes. <laughs> That's a great touch, bro. I, I saw a fan art where she takes the floaties off and she gives them to a small Pokemon. That was adorable. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. Uh, but that's not really the news here. I just wanted to be, you know, just wanted to tell people to stop fucking doing that, bro. No, honestly. definitely. Understandable. Because, though, like I was saying, Pokemon Sword and Shield has a lot going for it. During the Treehouse event, there was a little bit of news there that disappointed a lot of fans, bro. Because... Nintendo did say that not all Pokemon will be transferable to Sword and Shield. So Junichi Masuda, who's you know one of the big guys at Game Freak, did say that some of the reasons for this is you know just creating HD assets for over 800 Pokemon. This is just honestly, it's just a lot of work. Uh, we also don't know which Pokemon won't be transferable, but you know all those details will come at a later date, of course. Bro, listen, I know it sucks to hear for a lot of fans, right? But you know, I, I definitely understand their reasoning for this. It's like, look, you're staring at 800 plus Pokemon, right? Yes. Plus whatever amount of new Pokemon coming from the Galar region, right? Yeah. And all these Pokemon, they all have to have unique animations. They all have to have balances for gameplay, right? And just a whole lot more that I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting. I mean, I, I also did mention right in the past episode that I believe Sword and Shield is, you know, being the first game on the Switch is really just more of a foundational piece. Well, you hope uh, so. You know, where they can just sort of build on this and, you know, just... Future iterations of Pokemon will probably have every Pokemon, although Nintendo did say that it might not. Yeah, I was about <laughs> moving to say, forward. I'm pretty sure Nintendo said the opposite of that, actually. Right. So, I mean, listen, like I said, it's it's a it's a huge workload, bro. No, definitely. You know, I I fully believe, right, that some there will be a Pokemon game that's gonna have every Pokemon in it. At some point, yes. But for now, I definitely understand. You know, Pokemon's a yearly. Uh, game right mm-hmm. comes out every year, so to sort of try to turn it all around and try to fit every Pokemon into the game, you know, seeing them in the overworld, seeing them wherever else, right? It's it's a lot, bro. So I, I though I am disappointed too. Mm-hmm. It's a little. I understand. 
is all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay. Um, I understand, but I'm not disappointed. Mm-hmm. I would be disappointed, right? Mm-hmm. Like, they can keep um, filtering out Pokemon. Mm-hmm. That's cool and all, but if that if like the next game comes out and it has the same filtered Pokemon, mm. then I'm gonna be disappointed. Yeah. To me, this is a way for you to like to blow out other Pokemon, you know. Well, to, what do you to mean? show off all the other Pokemon, because um the meta is pretty much the same. Oh, the okay, Pokemon that's what meta. You're yeah, everybody yeah. always has. I mean, just look up any 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 tournament. Mm-hmm. Almost everybody has the same Pokemon in like the top twenty five. So yeah, if you can make so. it so those Pokemon don't appear one gen, mm-hmm. and others do, that would be amazing to me. At least for this iteration of the game. No, like for future iterations, because they said my um future future iterations might not have every every, every Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah. So if the future games have different Pokemon consistently, mm-hmm. that would be amazing for me. Because that gives other Pokemon time to shine. Yeah, and it kind of lends to the credence of it's a different region. It's only going to be specific Pokemon here. Yeah. I mean, Yeah, I guess I understand. But, you know, I, I also see where people are coming from where they're just like, listen, I've spent a ton of time collecting every fucking Pokemon. I want to have them with me on my Switch. No, yeah, I get that. But, um, like... Me personally, I am tired of seeing the top twenty-five like having Talon Flame, yeah. <laughs> having a uh, what you call Tyranitar. Wait, how do you how do you know this? Because I actually keep up with the meta. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you for knowing this. <laughs> but yeah, listen, guys, uh, I I I believe, like I said, I think it's more of a foundational piece. Adult, that's not really what you want to call your first big game on a Nintendo Switch. But honestly, a franchise as huge as Pokemon, you're gonna have this sort of issue, bro. You're not going to get a thousand Pokemon into one game from one year to the next, especially if you got to do it, all the HD assets and, like I said, all the unique animations, stuff like that. No, definitely. So, one of the reasons why we say what we say at the top of the show, you know, which is fuck the alt right. Fuck them. Fuck Gamergate, right? Fuck them. It's because, you know, while we were sort of planning this show out, right? I felt like every week we had another controversy where a big name in the industry or a YouTuber would do something that appeals or, or appeases the outright and then their social circle will kind of just hand wave the whole controversy away right yes so you know it's it's frustrating to see that you know nazi scum bro just have such a strong hold on some internet personalities to the, to the point where i'm just like listen bro we gotta just be straight up we don't support them fuck nazis fuck the all right right yes so it's always good to see someone like phil spencer who recently made a post right about how Xbox is not really a, a free speech uh, place for free speech, right? Yes. And then he elaborated with uh, Steven Totiro, who made a pretty excellent interview. I think you guys should definitely check it out. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll post a link in the description. So Steven Totiro from Kotaku spoke with Spencer about his post, where Phil would go on to talk about his piece. Like I said before, he said, quote, Xbox Live is not a free speech platform. It is not a place where anybody can come, can come and say anything. And as we're working to ensure it's a safe and inclusive environment for everybody, I don't want to be opaque about it. I want to be out there front and center so that you understand our motivation. He also mentioned how a, a, frig, a fringe segment of the Xbox audience won't like the direction of the company, but you know these are his beliefs. And this is what he wants the Xbox brand to represent, where it's just like, listen, there's a lot of hate running around in the industry right now, right? Yeah. There's a huge segment of fans who are going to hear this from Phil Spencer and be like, Whoa, relax there, buddy. All right? But guess what? It's not, a, it's not a good place for you guys. Fuck those people. It's great to have somebody as huge as Phil Spencer saying we're not, we're not tolerating hate. We're not tolerating this sort of uh, rampant you know, toxicity in the industry. So, you know, Phil Spencer, you have my sword, buddy. I love you. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm super happy that you're the head of the Xbox right now because you're doing a lot of great things. Oh, definitely. So, um, how do you feel about that? Because I know people, when he said that, people were saying, oh, he's uh, he's breaking my free speech amendment. Well, see, it, it always goes back to the thing where it's just like, freedom of speech doesn't equal freedom of consequences, bro. Just be, just you have your right to say, you know, to, to have your beliefs, right? Mm-hmm. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to punch you in the face, you know? <laughs> like, that's just that's just how it is, right? You're more than welcome to say whatever you want. Whatever hate-filled, whatever toxic shit, whatever racist shit you want to spill, right? Say whatever the fuck you want. That doesn't mean that people are just going to sit down and just sort of take it from you, mm-hmm. right? Like It's like that dude that was in, in Manhattan with the Nazi flag, 
Oh. Somebody threw an egg at him? <laughs> Huh? No, that, that's what the happened. Egg. They like slapped on. Oh, his they, head. they slapped the egg on the back <laughs> of his head, right? Yes. Yeah, that's what happens, bro. Um, that's not what I meant though. I meant like how people are saying that he can't do that because it's breaking the law, because uh, they have freedom of speech. The thing mm-hmm. is, people don't understand. It's a private company. It's not a government-owned company. Yeah. And that actually, if they want to, they can shut you down. They can just tell you shut up. Yeah, it's like Google. And, you yeah, know. people f- forget that for some reason, which. I don't, I don't, so one of the things, right, that I've learned about this whole shit, right, mm-hmm. is how little people actually know what freedom of speech is. Yeah. It's like, they're, they're not, they're not saying you can't say it. They're just saying, don't say it here on our house, in no, our house, you know? Yeah. They're but, not, they don't, they don't want to give you the platform to say it. Exactly. Yeah. They gave you the platform and they could just as easily take it away from you. Which is what they're doing. Well, yeah. Like you said, it is a private company. You're you're playing by their rules, bro. Oh, definitely. All right. So if, listen, if they're not liking what you're saying, guess what, buddy? Hit the bricks. You gotta get out of here. All right. Fuck Nazis. I'm oh. glad. I'm glad that, like I said, I'm glad we're seeing people like uh, like Phil Spencer or Tim Schafer, the guy from Bethesda. Oh it's, man, it's good to have you know these sort of big personalities in gaming coming straight out and saying, listen, we're not being vague about it. Mm-hmm. Fuck those people. Yeah, and most definitely. So while we're on the subject of Microsoft and because we're so great at, you know, flowing through a show, right? Mm-hmm. We got some more news from the Microsoft part of the industry. Let's start with uh, Scarlet, right? Phil Spencer left us wondering a little bit as to what the system will actually look like. Because he mentioned recently that although they don't have the final look down for Project Scarlet, he knows what it will look like. He says, he says, and I quote, I think it's a cool looking new thing which will be interesting, end quote. So, bro, I'm telling you right now, lock it in. Anybody on, on the internet, I have $100, right? <laughs> <laughs> which is probably not what you want to put out on the internet because someone's going to come for that $100. Yes, dear. But I'm going old school, bro. You know what I think the, the Project Scarlet is going to look like? What? That prototype Xbox that's shaped like an X. <laughs> I'm calling it, bro. They're, they're, they're bringing it around. They're going full circle. Nah, I don't see that happening. Oh, one might say they're going 360. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't believe that's what's going to happen. No, I mean, no, no, no. I'm locking it in. I'm fully confident. You know what? Just get crazy, Microsoft. It's just going to be one giant X. Just a giant X. You know how ugly that's going to look? <laughs> you know how awesome it's going to look? I Standing up? Where would the vents be? In the top? On the top, the sides, wherever they want, bro. I don't know. It's Listen, I'm like, not the engineer, okay? I'm just saying it's going to look cool, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, it'll probably look good, but it's not going to be the X. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it would be like a, like cool in the way 90s things were cool, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. Take it back. Going radical, bro. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but that that's my luck. That's my luck. As for price, Microsoft believes it will hit the price that they're targeting, right? But, you know, they, they're still saying that a lot of factors can come into play. Uh, including the big one, which is, you know, Trump's tariffs in China. For those of you who are a little bit out of the loop, right? That big old piece of shit, Donald Trump, man, he says that he is planning on putting the 25% tariff on electronic goods that are coming in from China. Mm-hmm. Nintendo has already made plans to avoid raising their prices by shifting production from uh, China, China to Southeast Asia. Mm-hmm. So... We're, they're still, you know, a little unsure about that, but they did say they're that everything's looking good as to, you know, the price that they want to put it out at, right? But what what what's a good price for you though? For the new Xbox? Yeah, for Scarlet. Anything under five hundred. Top of the line. You're getting all all the brand new hardware. This is the strongest console ever. Yeah, I don't care. Five hundred max for me. Five hundred. Yeah. You you do you think we'll ever see another what what was the price five ninety nine six ninety nine six ninety nine seven ninety nine wasn't it <laughs> Yeah, I might have to double check that, but yeah, you think we're ever gonna get another six hundred and ninety nine dollars? I hope not. We'll ever get another. You'll want to get two jobs for the PlayStation Three. No, I would just buy a PC or at least a better one. <laughs> get the hell out of here. Yeah, bro. I think I think five hundred is the sort of sweet spot. Honestly. Five fifty, I think people are gonna start clowning. Anything over five hundred, people will definitely start clowning Xbox. I'm not sure, so would not buy it at over five hundred. At five hundred, it's still one of those. Ugh. Yeah, it's definitely not. I'm there first day one. You know? No, yeah. I mean, no. honestly, 
I'll probably be there <laughs> day one. But that's you. Five hundred dollars is me. like, eh, right? Man, I don't know. Like four fifty to me, perfect. Five hundred yeah. though. That's right. the tax is gonna be like an extra hundred bucks. <laughs> right. You might as well have two jobs to pay for this shit. Hell yeah, nah, no, nah, I'm good. But one of the games, right, that I'm most looking forward to, it's also gonna be a launch game for the for Project Scarlet, right? And that's Halo Infinite. So we did get a couple more details from three four three who have confirmed that they already have split screen running on Halo Infinite, which is always good to hear, you know? And I think I'm remembering correctly, after Halo 5, right? It didn't have split screen, and a lot of people were coming at them like, how can you, how dare you take away one of the most important aspects of Halo, which is just people trying to play together however they want to play together? Mm-hmm. I don't know, actually. Um, I heard that it didn't have split screen. I immediately dropped Halo. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking trash, bro. That was such a dumb move. It was. But, you know, Frank O'Connor, who, who is the Halo Project director, I which I didn't know this, by the way, he did confirm that Halo Infinite will also be an Xbox One game. Oh, that's cool. Right? So, the reason why they had to clarify is because Microsoft put out that there's going to be betas for Halo Infinite, which they're calling flights. Mm-hmm. You know, but they're betas. Okay. Now, I was thinking, like, wait, how are they going to make a beta for a game on a console that's not out. X Cloud. Oh shit, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I guess I didn't I didn't even think about X Cloud, bro. That that's that was a great Yeah. Thanks for throwing that out there. That's what immediately jumped into my head when you said a beta for I was like, oh, X Cloud oh, shit, I'll stream mm-hmm. it for a yeah, bit. That makes a lot of sense All actually. Right. But I didn't know that it's that it's coming to PC. Well I mean I knew it was coming to PC, but I didn't know it was coming to Xbox One. So it's always cool to see. You might actually like this as well because three four three did say, right? If you were a fan of the Halo Reach customization, uh-huh. you're going to like Halo Infinite. Like the armor customization? Yeah, or exactly. Like the armor abilities? The armor customizations. Oh, well, I actually don't even remember Halo Reach's customization. Either. Well, now I feel stupid. I mean, yeah, I, I just liked Halo Reach for the gameplay. All right, all right. I mean, Halo Reach, I think that, that might be the best Halo. Yeah, to me that was peak Halo. Uh, the assassinations in the back. Right. If they came to hear me beg greatest achievement ever <laughs> what is that when you jump off the cliff yeah and yeah, that took you me so off long the to cliff do. and do the assassination it's amazing that took me a long time to do by the way not me it was a, I, I love halo reach the whole i thing. saw i had i had to actually look at i think it was achievement hunters to walk me, <laughs> to walk me through it i was like well i know you got to jump off the cliff but i'm just not hitting it i'm pretty so. sure it's just like any cliff as long as it's a certain height yeah, so when I saw you do it in like your second attempt, I was like, "This is this game is bullshit," <laughs> and that's how I knew that my controller was broken. Yeah, okay, okay your controller. <laughs> the Gears of War official website has put out a new post, which details a couple of things about the new entry in the franchise, with confirmations that this will be uh, what they're calling a player first experience. Writing that Gears Five will not have a season pass, they're not gonna have any loot boxes, and they're gonna have free DLC maps. Which, is that similar to Gears 4 or no? No, Gears 4 had the maps, it had the characters, it had the weapon customizations, Mm -hmm. it had uh, like emotes and flags and all that. Got you, got you. So, while I I was... I stopped playing Gears 4. (laughs) Yeah, because that store was crazy. It was. And they had like tournament things too. Sorry for cutting you off. That's cool. They also had like um, tournament winners, outfits and whatnot. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. To me that was, yeah, to me that was the push in the, the... the thing they went too far and I was like eh, yeah okay I was like I don't care <laughs> I, I do, care I do like the characters play. though so I'm gonna what? be sad if the characters don't come back what do you mean with characters well yeah they added characters to um oh okay yeah, yeah. Four. I, see, I, guess, I, see. I thought you meant that they added like the MLG players into the game no I don't know I mean they added uh that rap band rap yeah group. yeah run the jewels there you go yeah. don't care about that I did not care about that either no. Like, Run the Jewels one was a long time ago. Listen, then we're over them now, okay? Yeah, um, they said that like it was gonna get me to back. In fact, it actually made me just stay away from the game until that event was over. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Run the Jewels? What? What? I don't care. I don't care about them. Actually, at, le- go- at least not in Gears of War. I have to go look them up. I had no idea who they were. Over. God, I-, I hate when you say things like that. What? <laughs> because I'll literally come to you with like the hottest thing going on. You'd be like, Nope. Never. <laughs> I have no idea. I had to go look them up. I thought it was um, like a brand or something. Yeah. 
not this man still doesn't know who Lil Nas X is. That's not true. <laughs> he did that cowboy song. Cowboy. Right? <laughs> Old Town Road. There you go. Lil Nas X. Nas Minaj. <laughs> Nas I, I thought he was the feature. I thought it was a Billy Ray Cyrus song. Okay, you see, this is this is your problem, bro. <laughs> you come, <laughs> nah, you I'm come just to joking. me, you you. God, man, I'm just I just sit there. I'm like I could punch you in the face. Nah, it's a Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> nah, but uh, I know I know who uh, Lil Nas is because there was a Twitter video where he was at a school for some reason. Oh, and those kids like were getting crazy, yeah. right? Yeah, bro. I was like, what the hell's going on here? Honestly, it's like the perfect pop song, dude. That was hilarious. Honestly, it doesn't have. Uh, curses it's re- you can sing along with it so kids yeah. can get crazy too, I mean, bro. it got memed to number one so yeah for sure TikTok the power of TikTok the power of YouTube yeah. really showed itself off with this song it bro. Did. That, that I don't think that song had any right to be anywhere close to the top 10 <laughs> <laughs> and now it's song. been number one for like 13 weeks I think in two days it's gonna be 13 weeks oh damn which is crazy dude. Yeah, congratulations yeah, hell yeah, bro. Listen, Panini, you could have done Panini better. Panini's a, his new song, by the way. Have that song could have been better. But listen, bro, you're doing your thing. You just just keep doing you, bro. Keep yeah. doing you. I like his Twitter, too. He's he's pretty funny on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, he's hilarious, bro. And uh, best country song. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. I love it. I love it. But to kind of get back on two gears, right? <laughs> so while I was reading the post, I was thinking, like, okay, but where are you guys going to get us at, you know? So, I mean, they did say, like, for transparency's sake, that customizations is going to be sort of where the microtransactions is going to be, you know? Mm-hmm. So, like, the gun loadouts, the cu- character skins, all these things are going to be direct purchases. So, it's not going to be loot boxes. You, if you see something that you like, just buy it. Oh, that's cool. Um, I actually like that. Like, if I actually like that. Um, I, I, I do spend money on games. That I, like, cosmetics is my... Mm-hmm. That's the one thing that I really enjoy in games is cosmetics. <laughs> so, yeah, as long as I can buy it directly with that. I mean, I like what they did in Gears 4, too. So. You were able to um, give up old stuff, sell off your old stuff, mm, mm-hmm, to buy new mm-hmm. ones. To me, that was awesome. Yeah, you know, there's there there are good ways of implementing these sort of things. You oh, know? definitely. But, like, cosmetics, yeah. I like cosmetics. Like I said, I love characters, customization. Yeah, yeah, you you get super... Bro, sometimes I don't even want you to start playing an RPG... <laughs> Because, <laughs> like, the first two hours is literally you at the character creation screen. Like, what is, how can I make this character look cooler? <laughs> yeah. And then I play for an hour because I know the game usually has, like, a camera angle you can't do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rotating the character. Mm-hmm. And then I see something that I hate. Go back to character customization. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the worst offender was Mass Effect, bro. Listen, uh, if, if, if Shepard's nose was a little off, dude, you're like, I'm going to restart this character. Oh, <laughs> Or his cheek was like too flat. Yeah, yeah. If it was too gaunt looking, yeah. or just like, nah, I'll go back, go back. This guy's a perfectionist guy. When it comes to creating my character, yes. <laughs> but you know, you know what really bothers me, what? bro. It's when when somebody, right, mm-hmm. or or an entity, comes along and they try to change the name of something, whether it's a product name or shit, like even a slang, right? So are we talking about Bethesda? We're not talking about Bethesda, right? Okay. And scrolls, so, right? You can what? And scrolls? No. Okay. What is that about, actually? Remember they tried to copyright scrolls? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not talking about that. So, bro, you couldn't believe my face when this video sweeping through Twitter reached my timeline, right? Because EA was dominating the new cycle for a bit, for all the wrong reasons, too, right? And that's because there was footage of EA's vice president of legal and government affairs uh, Kerry Hopkins is her name, right? Downright refusing to use the term loot boxes. And instead she called them... Well, first of all, first of all, right? Just so we can get like a little bit of a uh, of a larger picture, right? Mm-hmm. As some of you may or may not know, the EU regulators have been wanting to sort of crack down on the loot box practice in video games. So in this video, the UK House of Commons grilled EA and Epic representatives. And when one of the guys who was grilling these people brought up the general practice of loot boxes and whether it was ethical miss hopkins brought up the fact that ea doesn't call them loot boxes bro she says quote we don't call them loot boxes we look at them as surprise mechanics end quote what is she talking about bro 
<laughs> They're loot boxes. EA has come out and called them loot boxes many times, dude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can go look up, uh, what is it, Star Wars Battlefront 2? Yeah. Even they're like, listen, we fucked up with loot boxes. They, they've they called them. There's a history of them calling them. So when when you're when you're in this space, right? And by the way, bro, it's hilarious to me, right? This is not the, the, the big thing, right? This is just a hearing. <laughs> so this is just a general, like, we're just going to ask you a couple of questions. That's it. And to see them fold so badly, bro. Just from general questions, dude. It just gave me so much life, bro. It fueled me for the whole week, dude. No, it was funny as hell. Her and the two of the guys, was it? Yeah, it was her and um, forgetting the guy's name from Epic. Oh yeah, okay. God, bro, they they look like stupid, stupid people, bro. They yeah. they they were so out of their element. Yeah, people were saying that they they just hired people off the streets. <laughs> and... Who's Gary Hopkins, bro? Like had you told me that as I was watching the video, I'd be like, yeah, yeah. I can see that happening. Cause, cause you're, you're you're seeing these people and they're just they're stumbling over their words, they're bumbling, they're just like, uh, uh, uh I don't know, surprise mechanics. They're kind of like Kinder eggs, right? What are you talking about? Or uh, what was what are those egg toys? Those egg toys called the the chocolate one, the no, Kinder. The LOL, no, the LOL. Oh, dolls. LOL dolls. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The LOL dolls, right? Mm-hmm. That, that was hilarious as hell. So man, it's just so disrespectful bro for them to just slap the consumers in the face bro just be like listen we're doing these sort of predatory practices right but we're not owning up to it no oh, definitely I understand like there's a good way of implementing loot boxes uh, well at least a, a, a not as bad way of implementing loot boxes cause I'm not a huge fan right it's like listen just straight up take off the gambling mechanic of it you know just tell people listen this is what's in this box if you purchase this box X amount of times, right? You're going to end up with everything in the box. Oh, no well, duplicates. Smite does that. No. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, that's how they do their loot boxes? Yeah. You can, like, it shows you the whole list of everything you get. And mm-hmm. you will never get a duplicate item. You see, that's... And it also takes it, takes it out of the other loot boxes. Oh, so there's no chance that you would get it in another box. Yeah. So it's like, if you got that item, that item you will never get anywhere else. It's already there for you. You see, that's that's a less ash holish way of doing it, you know? I mean, yeah, that's true. Because sometimes they also give, like, um, a loot box that only has 13 items. Mm-hmm. And that might have, like, almost every item you want. Mm. So, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, but. so, and then these sort of things, bro, you're, you're pretty much praying that kids just buy these things, dude. Oh, yeah, I saw a Reddit post with, um... Yeah, oh, I know, <laughs> right, I know exactly what you're talking about. Some oh, some kids spent like six hundred dollars. Yeah, in like one day, right? Yeah, <laughs> and like, and one of the people from the House of Commons asked the guy from Epic, like, "Well, isn't it possible that a that a child can purchase X amount of things?" And the uh, Epic yeah. guy was just like, uh, "I don't, I don't think that's possible." It's like, bro, it's possible. Yeah, like, you don't understand. Didn't he kids. say? Yeah, didn't he say that um, they don't sell that amount? Yeah, it's like you don't understand. <laughs> Kids just have to hit X, bro. They just, that's all they have to do. They have, they have to hit X or A three I mean, times. Sp- or especially like especially if uh, the credit card is linked to the account. Especially if it's linked, dude. So, listen, as as government in video games, I think it's, it's government in a lot of things. I, I always personally felt it was a weird thing. But this this they do need to crack down these sort of things, bro. They They got to. Fuck EA for doing for pulling this shit out of the ass, bro. Oh, that's I'm so nice. glad they're being taken to task for these things. Yep, fuck EA. But I think that's it for the news, right? I'm not sure actually. Yeah, so that's it for the news. We're gonna move on to games that we're playing and our opinions on them. You know the good old fashioned segment that we like to do here. I'm gonna go first, okay? Okay. Bro, there's a hot new game, dude. I don't think you've ever heard of it, bro. It's called. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 1. Um, what can I possibly say about this game, bro? And honestly, I think all of my opinions are wholly unique. Uh-huh. Right? A Zelda game that came out a couple years ago. So it's a hidden gem? Hidden gem, dude. Damn. I haven't seen If those. you have a Nintendo Switch and you don't own this game, what is wrong with you? Get on it. Okay. Breath of the Wild, I think, might be the game of the generation. Check it, right? Uh-huh. Wait, 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 wait. Who's the developer? A little company called Nintendo. 
Damn, I've never heard of them. Never? Never in my life. Crazy. They got, they have another great game, bro. It's called Mario Odyssey. Do they? Yeah. I gotta check that out. Huh? It's Sounds fucking great, fantastic. But, mm-hmm. in all seriousness, okay. I finally started playing Breath of the Wild, right? <laughs> <laughs> and dude, um, yeah, I'm in. Yeah, this, <laughs> this game is amazing. And this Perfect. is your late to the party? This is my late to the party. Because I, I finally started playing it because Breath of the Wild 2 was announced. I was like, listen, I'm not going to be left behind this time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was convinced that the game was amazing when I was using the Magnesis, right? Uh-huh. No, no, no. Not Magnesis. The Time Stop Freeze thing, right? Yeah. I, I hit, I, I froze this like metal lid and then I whacked the shit out of it, right? Uh-huh. I beat it up and it got sent flying. But it, it flew, bounced off the, the cliff. Bounced off the tree, boom, landed, killed me. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this game <laughs> this is a good game. <laughs> Bro, there's so many things you can do with that game. When you were when you were talking to me about this shit, when I was reading the reviews, I was like, it's the power of the Nintendo Switch. I cannot believe that this game can be so universally praised. But bro, it's there. There are moments of, in the game, like the shrines, where I'm just like, I'm a fucking genius. I'm like the next Steve Jobs with these solutions, right? But there are other shrines where I'm like, I think I might be stupid, actually. <laughs> but right now, I'm just roaming around the horses. I, I feel like the horses are super difficult to control for no reason. Uh, you have to get to know them. Actually, you have to build the trust thing. I can't even pet the horse. Well, the more you pet them and ride around with them. I say, I'm i saying I can't pet them. Can I give them, like, an apple? I'm pretty sure you can. But I do like that they can just go, like, on a... You Like, like uh, what's it called when the airplane with the pilot just hits that button? Auto. Cruise control. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, did you say cruise control? I was going to say auto. Auto. Oh, autopilot. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Where, you know, you can just, like, all right, horse, just follow the road and just do it. Oh, yeah. I yeah. think that's cool, you know? But... Overall, listen, I'm not going to st- spend too much time on this game, right? Because obviously, everything that has been said about this game, I'm just going to reiterate, right? Mm-hmm. But, bro, Breath of the Wild, listen, man, <laughs> if, you, if you're listening to this and you really don't have the game, bro, please give it a shot. It's because uh, um, I just come up, came up, no, not recently coming off of Skyrim. But I didn't, I don't, I didn't think that Breath of the Wild would catch me as much as Skyrim. Mm-hmm. I'm stupid. Holy shit, there's so much to do in this game. There is. But what have you been playing? Recently, I've been playing Crash. Yeah. And I hate you. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you really still haven't forgiven me? No. No, I haven't. Like Bro, you. it was it was an accident. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't get how people say they can't. Honestly. Yeah. But it's a racing game. You, it's one of the easiest ones to tell. <laughs> yeah, at least in a racing game, you should be able to tell. And there are some, you know, some gripes I have about the controls where when you do the hop yeah, and you're trying to do, like, a drift, mm-hmm. I feel, and you brought it up during the stream, where it's just, like, you think that the jump lasts too long, a little too long, yeah, that it kind of throws off the drift a little bit. No, definitely. I think that's been my only actual complaint about the game. Mm-hmm. Outside of that, I mean, I'm enjoying the game. It's, it's Crash, like I said. Uh, yeah, yeah. I have, I mean, there's characters I've never heard of, or mm-hmm. do, at least don't remember. Yeah, but then it has like Crunch and Tiny, and Tiny and it Coco, has Polar, oh, and Pura. God, bro, Woo. it's just uh, I, I love like, that. I, I love that Polar Bear, bro. Yeah, Crash was one of my favorite game um, IPs, mm-hmm. and then it left. Yes, yeah, so wh- whoever says whoever says that Crash Three is the last good Crash, mm-hmm. I hate you. Really? Yeah, because uh, I've like I've re- I've had fun with every Crash game. Outside of the last one, I think, Mind Over Mutant. I've, yeah, you know what? I've always thought Crash games were, you know, they're fun, bro. You know? Yeah, yeah they did lose their sort of luster. Yeah. It, they weren't as good as the classic trilogy. Mm-hmm. But there were still really fun uh, times to be had there. Yeah, um, Twin Sanity. I enjoyed Twin Sanity. Twin Sanity was fun. <laughs> yeah. I had no problems with Twin Sanity. Me neither. But like, some people say it's one of the worst, I think. Get out of here, man. Yeah, like, I don't know. To me, I, I just had... Like, there is no game in that series where I'm like, I hate it, never want to play it. I've, I've enjoyed every Crash game. Having Crash Nitro Kart back, fun as hell. You know? Yeah, the sort of resurgence in Crash Bandicoot, I'm really enjoying it. The trilogy is great. We should actually uh, do a Let's Play for that game. We should, though we, we will suck. 
terribly. Horribly. Um, to no fault of our own, though. Right? It's the game's fault. Absolutely. And uh, Crash for Smash. Cra- oh, hashtag that, bro. <laughs> hashtag Crash for Smash. Yes. And it rhymes. They're going to fuck around and give us a trophy. A spirit. Nah. I, I, <laughs> yo, if Crash makes it into the game, I'm going to lose my mind. Wait, wait. Are you, You're telling me, at least to you, uh-huh. Crash reaches the sort of iconic status as like a Castlevania? I mean, I've never really considered Castlevania that big. Ooh. Whoa, shit, bro. Well, I mean, like, I mean, some people probably say the same thing about Crash. So, I don't care. But, uh, yeah, to me, mm-hmm. like, yeah, put, I mean, the Sonic is in there. What? Yeah. What? Okay. All right, listen. <laughs> listen, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> well, all I'm saying what? is, Yo, Sonic, bro, I'm the, really last, the last <laughs> couple of Sonic games outside of Sonic Mania mm-hmm. have been horrible. Name me a, a good Sonic game besides Sonic Mania. Sonic 06. Really? That game, bro. <laughs> Okay, all right, bro. <laughs> Sonic 06 has brought so much joy to so many people. That's not even a hot take. That's true as fuck, bro. <laughs> right? If you played Sonic 06, there's there's two things, right? You either go, I'm a huge Sonic fan, so I'm digging this, mm-hmm. or two, this is the the most unintentionally fun game ever because of how terrible it is. That right? That's true, I guess. <laughs> I will argue that it is to this day, bro, <laughs> that Sonic 06 is, is an amazing game. <laughs> Just because of the, all the terrible things that had so, to happen for you, that game to come out how it did. So, like you're saying, Sonic 06 is the Tommy Wiseau of Sonic games? Oh, yes. It's the room of the, <laughs> of the video game industry. <laughs> <laughs> like, just what the fuck moments, you know? Just, like, the glitches. Everything there. Yeah, yeah. That's a great, that's a great comparison. <laughs> but, again, that's Sonic 06. That's 13 years ago. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> and um, one of the... Actually, matter of fact, one of the guys from that's working on Sonic, from Team Sonic, mm-hmm. he's saying that 30th anniversary is coming in 2021 and that the next big year of Sonic is going to be 2021, obviously. And they're already working on games for 30th anniversary. All right. Bro, please, for the, for the love of God, give me Sonic Adventure 3. Oh, please! With the Child Garden. Oh, that's that. Oof. Oh you, man. Matter of fact, you know what I've always wanted? What? Um, a Child Garden mobile game. That would be. Wait, it, there hasn't been one done. No. Damn, that's a missed opportunity. I I feel like it is, bro. <laughs> I listen. Real people know. The real ones know. <laughs> Sonic Adventure Two was great. It's fun. Whatever. Yeah. Child Garden. That's that's what you come back for. <laughs> though, okay. Yo, I spent so much time raising the perfect. Um, child? Yeah, it, it was kind of scary. Yeah. Honestly, had, <laughs> you I were had, like genetically modifying these kids. <laughs> I had the 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 spiky Sonic and the spiky Shadow. Yeah, I I, the, I still don't know how you did that, bro. The the Tikal looking one. Yeah, a lot of bro. And the the designs for the Childs are pretty fun. Yeah, how they mutate, so, like they can come mix and match. Like if you start off going with speed, and then this like going with a uh, water, a mm-hmm. swimming one. Oh yeah, and like their bodies. Yeah. yeah, it looks like a mesh of both of them. That's amazing. The the only thing, right, is listen. If you feed your child animals, oh, don't! I swear to God, you're you're the worst type of person. Right? You're walking around with a child with tiger feet and a horn. Oh, get get out of here, bro! Come on, <laughs> you're, you're 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 wasting my time right here. Yeah, well, I used to go, I used to go out of my way to not get animals. Yeah, I hated that. I, I felt bad because I, I accidentally gave one of my favorite childs uh, an animal, uh-huh. and I just. I toss them to the side. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's an animal you can give them to take it off. Oh, is there? I'm almost certain oh, there man, is because I'm so pretty... Much time into it. Either that or it was a glitch when I gave an animal to one of my chaos. I mean, it was still Sonic Adventure too. <laughs> yeah, right. So, but I'm pretty sure there is one. I ha- We're going to have to look it up. Yeah, but bro, listen. 2021, please give me Sonic Adventure 3. Child Garden, the full works. I want to I wanna save Shadow from... Uh, well, oh, God, I'm blanking on his name right now. Who? Oh. The, the final boss of Sonic Adventure 2. Oh, damn. Is it in Sigma or something like that? No, 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 no. Oh, man. Well, e- either way, I'm, I'm going to find out the name. Yeah, yeah, But I want to see what happens with Shadow afterwards. I don't, listen, Sonic Heroes doesn't count to me, okay? Right? Shadow is not an android. Shadow is not a robot. Right? I want to save the original Shadow, uh, the one that fell to Weren't Earth. they clones? I'm pretty sure they were no. clones. 
In Sonic Adventure 2? No, he was uh, no, uh, genetically I'm, engineered. No, yeah, yeah, I'm talking about um, Sonic Heroes. Yeah, that's right. I don't want Shadow to be that. A clone? Yeah, no. Please, no. no. God, Jesus, no. So you won't want the red cons, Sonic Heroes? I like Sonic Heroes, though. <laughs> <laughs> we're Sonic Heroes, yo, bro. Now, when he said we're Sonic Heroes at the end, son, get out of here. Bring back the band. Crush 40. Yo, if they don't bring him back, it's not, it's not Sonic it. Adventures, yeah. Yo, matter of fact, Crush, crush uh, 40? Yo, bro, seriously. 30th anniversary Sonic? Give us a best a best of collection, you know? Damn. It would be what, uh, oh my god, City Escape, right? Yeah. Escape the city. Uh, the, 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 what is it? Oh. I will never let go. <laughs> open your heart, right? Something yeah. like that? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, open your heart. Oh my god, yo. The ending song to Sonic I can sing too. almost all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't, don't ask it. me Throw, throw Pumpkin Hill in that album, too, by the way. Oh, yo, Pumpkin Hill was fire. Hell yeah, right? I was, was talking crazy. All right, he was spitting fire in that in that <laughs> song, man. But um, crash so crash team racing. Yes, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's pretty fun. We, I want to keep on playing it. We just got to the second world. Game can be a little hard, bro. <laughs> we had so much trouble with the first race. Oh, uh, so much shows on um, polar, right? Pool, 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 or something. Like that. Like polar just get they kept beating us. He just like bro. That, that, but that's rubber banding now. Oh, definitely. Because right? there's no he like he would just zoom past it. Yeah, like, I mean we put it in the video. We, I show that I hit him. <laughs> like a second later, passes me by. Hit him again. Passes me by. He got he gets hit by something else. Yeah. Then I hit him and he passes me again. I'm like Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> this cannot be possible, right? <laughs> so and like the only reason you won the race because he kept getting hit by different things. Yeah, and then I I I ran over him. <laughs> With the turbo, <laughs> he still he still came in second place. Right, I was like, oh lord. What you it's, it? it's uh, Crash Team Raising. It's a lot of fun, though. Yeah, it's been it's been. I still hate you, but it's been fun. Yeah, once again, I apologize. Watch the video, guys. It's hilarious. Anything else you've been playing? Marvel Strike Force. <laughs> We're not gonna get into a Marvel Strike Force. <laughs> no, it just keeps getting worse. Gosh, I don't. But I don't know why you keep going back. <laughs> you every time you come back on on this show, it's just like I got another complaint about Marvel yeah, Strike Force. It's because they fuck up. Okay? And the crazy part is that it's not even like, oh, you know, I like I lost a match. It's like no, there's something fundamentally wrong with this game. Yeah, <laughs> you always is. come back with like <laughs> the developers fucked it up. The, the update's terrible. Update. Yeah. There's an update, and there's gonna be an update tomorrow, and I cannot wait for it to fuck up the game again. <laughs> So this is because that's that's the like that's the roadmap to that game. Mm-hmm. Update fuck up, fix with the quotation marks. Mm-hmm. There's still some fuck up until the next update, and then just rinse and repeat. <laughs> <laughs> have you tried the uh, new Niantic game, the Harry Potter game? I have not. I want to try it out. It's been on my things. Twitter a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna give that a shot. I probably report back next week with it. Uh, outside of that, I've been playing The Last Remnant. Yes, yes. How is that? It's been fun. It's uh, surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be. I only but, remember this game because it was one of those games with that RPG where they have guns in them. Which one? Gosh. Now, now I'm going to have to look up the game. Because <laughs> I think it came out around the same time as The Last Remnant, or I might just be misremembering. Honestly, the only other game that I remember that's like that would be Infinite Undiscovery. But I've yeah, never played Infinite, Infinite Undiscovery. Undiscovery. I always bunched it with that, and I think there's a third game where I'm just like, what, what these? I feel like these RPGs are just being thrown out there for like, just for new ideas' sake. I know Atlas made a game like that though. Is that the one you're probably talking about? I could be talking about that. Yeah, Atlas made a game where you're like, when you're playing like some kind of soldiers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's I, I also to play Atlas it. give us Shin Megami Tensei Five. Finally, please. <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean, I I went in there with no expectations of the game. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool, like. It gets kind of cinematic during the battles, which mm-hmm. I mean, it's like, turn-based. Uh, like a but Final it makes Fantasy it... Thirteen. I've never, I've never actually played Final Fantasy Thirteen like that. I don't remember. I played it once and then. Well, it's like the bars are are filling up, and then you you get to move when they're done. Oh no! Um, you choose what what you want your group because you control a group, not just one person. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you choose what kind of attack they do, mm. and then it just plays out like a little video. It's okay. all in. It's all in game. You know, nothing got pre-rendered. You. Got you, got you. Yeah, because I was watching your mixer stream. Yeah. Game, game, the remaster looks pretty solid. Yeah, it's pretty you clean. Know? Yeah. But, um, I wanted to get, I mean, it's $20, honestly. Yeah. You, you'll probably get a, a good couple of hours out of this game. 
I mean, I still haven't finished it. I've played like five hours, I think, now. Well, I mean, and, and it's a JRPG. You're probably not going to finish <laughs> it in five hours. I don't know, but like, no, in case like people are used to like games now, where it takes oh. like five to eight hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm five hours in. I'm, I think I'm still pretty much in the middle of the story. Like, not even in the middle of the story. <laughs> it's like, oh, I just got out of the main town. <laughs> I'm, I'm just in, like, the third town, I think. Oh, word? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's been that. And uh still got to keep playing Valkyria Chronicles. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've also been playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. <laughs> Bro, it's so fun to see the sort of jump from, like, an Animal Crossing uh, New Leaf, is it? For 3 yeah, yeah. And then, like, a Pocket Camp where it's just, like... It's a game tailored for the mobile platform. Mm -hmm. So you obviously have, like, the timers. Of, so if you, you know, shake a tree and fruit comes out, you're going to have to wait, like, three hours for the trees, to, the, for the fruit to pop up on the trees again. Mm -hmm. If you put plants down, it's going to take, like, seven hours for the plants to uh, blossom. And But it, this, the, the game's constantly coming out with new events. Uh, isn't that like that Animal Crossing, though? What do you mean? Yeah, don't you, like, shake a tree and then you have to wait a while? Yeah, but you can use, like, currency to, like, speed it up. Oh, but it's like that in regular Animal Crossing, right? Yeah, I think, but I, I think it might be a little longer here in, in the mobile game yeah. than it would be, like, yeah. Oh, I'm not sure. All I know is that you can only, like, I thought it was just, like, once a day or something. No, it's not once a day. It's every, so, every how many hours? All right. So yeah, it's, but, not much, know, it's not much different than from the game. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it still has, like, some of the mobile footprints the in it. The speed-up mechanics and all that? Yeah. Nah. But overall, you know, you're meeting with different people. You're decorating your campground. I follow somebody on Instagram. She only posts things <laughs> from that game. And the amount of decorations, bro, just, like, the variety that you can make yeah. is crazy. I, I mean, the only reason, bro, honestly, the only reason I'm playing this game it's because I'm hoping that <laughs> New Horizons has, like, some sort of compatibility with the game. I mean, that'll be cool for this. Yeah. I have a couple of things from, like, events when it first launched, I think. Yeah. There's a, a DJ KK yeah. slider uh, booth. Really? I want to get that, bro. <laughs> That'll be so fucking cool. That sounds God, cool. I love Animal Crossing. It's a great game. It's a great, um, great franchise. Yeah, and it's it's definitely been improved since the, since the first time we played it. Huh. But they added a, a bunch of things. I might check it out then. Yeah, they even add like themes from other games like Splatoon. Oh, I, I think I showed you. I have the Splatoon yeah, hair yeah, on. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, but I think I think that's all from the games that we've been playing. I mean, yeah, that's all, pretty much all I've been playing this week. And all last. Right. Well, is that gonna be all? I think so. Oh, also, there there was a little bit of a. Uh, I just wanted to speak on this a little bit. All right. In this week's gamers can be super trash, right? <laughs> there is a subreddit for the game Total War, right? Yeah. And it recently came to my attention that the subreddit imploded, basically. So I'm not going to really talk about the game, but obviously, you know, what subreddits people go there and speak about the game, talk about their ideas, what they're liking, right? Yeah. But recently, people have been modifying the characters of Total War. So just the women, by the way. Right, okay. and they're modding them to look more waifu-y, if that's a word. <laughs> I mean, I think you might yeah. understand what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, we'll have one of the commanders or generals. I'm not too well versed in him, but one of the generals will be like this super cool looking woman with a lot of armor on, right? And they'll just modify her to only wear like brawn panties, very minimal armor. That's disgusting. Yeah. So the moderators pull the plug on that real quick they were like listen no <laughs> just <laughs> just no so this kind of led to gamers once again they're freaking out about the most dumbest shit right okay where it's just like but that's how i want my woman to live by the way first of all guys first of all just how impractical <laughs> is that armor second of all come, it's 2019 guys come on i thought we've been past these fucking times where the women in, in the video game are just you know, tits and very minimal armor. It's like, come on, man. She looks... She, her her render, bro. Yeah. If you've seen it, she looks amazing already, bro. Super cool. Are you talking about the, I think, Japanese? Yes. Samurai-looking thing? Yeah. Yeah, that looks she, amazing. She looks cool. Yeah, and then right. the way they drew her, bro, it's like, come on, man. That's trash, <laughs> man. It's trash. So, so, to kind of ape Charlemagne's thing, they get donkey today for that shit, bro. 
there's stupid people fighting the the dumbest wars out here. <laughs> but I don't, I don't want to end on a negative note, right? Because I, I want to end on a positive thing. Okay. Because I, I also want to give a shout-out to also gamers, right? Uh-huh. Although they can be trash a lot of times, right? Well, there's I mean, still not, not gamers in general. Like There's some people. Yeah, a certain segment of gamers okay, can be super trash. I don't want to But a lot, of, a lot of good can come out of the gaming industry. Yeah. Especially from players. Because recently, Guardian Con, right? Uh, you know, it's one of those conventions that people can, you know, stream together for charity, for good cause to raise money. All right. Recently raised $3.7 million, bro. Jesus. For charity. Which one? For St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Oh, that's cool. Which, you know, yeah, huge, huge congrats to those, man. Oh, definitely. I hope one day we can kind of set up our own thing where we can do charities and we can start donating and making some big moves in that direction as well because honestly it's a real beautiful thing to see in the industry to have a ton of people come together for put their reason. money for a good cause you know yeah yeah not just giving money to a streamer because hey bring me joy which is great but it's always good to have to know that that money is going to something like a saint jude's hospital no definitely okay no yeah. i think i think that's gonna be it from us right here mm-hmm I think we're we're working on a sort of new format for the show. I mean, it wasn't in this episode, but something we might be working on for future. Uh-huh. But for now, that's going to be us, Wait. Broadway Vic. What? What did we mess up? What did we mess up? Oh, yes, 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 yes. PlayStation 3, five ninety nine ninety nine. Okay. That's what the price was. Of the most expensive one, right? Yes. Okay. I think you also claimed that the PS2 outsold the PS3, right? At some point, yes. Yeah. So you were actually right. Business Insider did write on May 15, 2009 that Sony's PS2 outsold the PS3 in the month of April. So I don't know how that happened. but <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, uh, That was wild because that was still right in the middle of the PS3 uh, well, run. It should have been, right? Yeah, because yeah. it came out like in 2006. 2006, yeah. Then uh, the game. The shooting game that you were talking about. Operation Darkness. By Atlas, right? By Atlas. They they published it. Yeah. I think... Is that it? I'm pretty sure that's it. I want to say that's it. I hope that's it. I hope that's it. God, I hope it is too. Right? (laughs) Because... Well, either way. Either way, that's going to be all from us here at the Applesauce Podcast. Follow us on our social medias. We are at Cast on Twitter. And on Instagram, we are at Pod. Yeah, yeah. Definitely drop us a follow, ask us any questions, and see what's going on. Yes. See what's going on with us. Mm-hmm. Should be fun. Yeah, the Oakland Raiders are the stars of HBO's uh, Knock, Knock. Knock, <laughs> I forgot the name of the Hard show. Hard Knocks. Hard Knocks, yes. <laughs> I was hoping it was going to be the Cleveland Browns, but either way, Why? that's because, bro, Cleveland Browns are, are, you know, they're that team to watch out. I'm calling. I'm, I want to jinx them right now. I'm gonna call them the dream team. I'm gonna pull up Vince Young. They're gonna go two and fourteen. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Everybody go home. Bro, that's just way too much. He just the, cursed the, the brownies. The only reason, right, that mm-hmm. I don't have faith in this team, the Brownies. Yeah, is because Freddie Kitchens is the head coach. I have. They, no they should have stuck with uh, with the defense coordinator. Who the hell's Freddie Kitchens? The the new head coach for the Cleveland Browns. He was the offensive coordinator for them. No. Oh. While the guy yeah. who did Bounty Gate was the head coach. Oh, okay. I, I remember. I remember now. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, you know, that's the only reason why I'm a little iffy on the team. All right, but uh, save those opinions for later. Yes, yes. Because, right? Because we're gonna announce it right now. Uh huh. It's the Applesauce Does Football Podcast. Hell yeah, bro! And I'm ready for it. Oh. I think the I think the atmosphere in that show might be a little <laughs> different. It will be totally different. I hope you're ready for the first episode. Yes. Right. Where I'm just gonna talk for about the Dallas Cowboys for two and a half hours. I believe that actually. <laughs> I have a lot of things to get off my chest. He does, he does. And the first episode will be the week week one actually. Before well, th- before, before Thursday. Before week one. Yes, before Thursday night football. Yeah. So we're we're still gonna work out how the show's gonna be run. Mm-hmm. But I'm ready for it, bro. Oh definitely. God I'm ready it's for football. So I'm so fun. fucking bored football. right now, dude. It is. Man, once that football season ends. It's just games for me. There's nothing else. Yeah, like. <laughs> it's really nothing. <laughs> like I'll watch the finals here and there, but right. Other than that, I watch hockey. football's game. Yeah, nothing. Nothing beats football. So I can't even ask you who you think is gonna play the New England Patriots in the Super Bowl. Yeah, you could ask me that. Who's gonna play the New England Patriots? I have in the no Super idea. Bowl? It doesn't matter because the Patriots are gonna win anyway. Exactly. 
God. We fucking hate the Patriots, by the way. I do. Right. Fuck the Patriots. Jesus Christ. Fuck Brady. Fuck Belly Cheat. Belly Cheat. Yes. The man hasn't let it go. We're never going to, baby. No. There's an asterisk next to that Super Bowl. Asterisk. Woo. Well, Woo. that's going to be all. I don't want to. Because <laughs> then we're just going to go on a, on a whole tangent here. Yeah, we are. That's going to be all from us. We love you. Bye.